should be going live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is April 10th, 2020, and we're doing an open discussion on education beyond the indoctrination and the propaganda solutions. And uh, we've done education streams before, and uh, this one we're doing specifically in regards to uh, suggestion, recommendation, request that we had on chat. Uh, I sort of went to our Discord uh, page and our and our just chat in general and asked people what they wanted to, uh, what topics they wanted to live stream, and education was one of them. I'm happy to uh, host education discussion live streams. Hello, Caseman. Hello, Dragon. How are you guys doing? Hello, Eraser. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, should be a good stream today. Uh, I love the discussion on education because it's extremely important. Uh, Skyhall, how are you doing? 404. And let me give everyone a little intro regarding education and then, uh, or what it is that we're doing here, who we are, and regarding education. I want to read a little write-up that uh, Graham always be making, uh, which is one of the people that's uh, an educator that is uh, basically in the midst of going through the disruptive innovation that's taking place right now to try to reach out to students and decentralize our education system. So after I do our little intro, I'm going to read, up, read his little write-up and then I'll return to chat and uh, pick up the conversation. What do you think of music as a college major? Um, sure, uh, don't go into huge debt because of it, uh, Eraser. Uh, that would be my recommendation. Um, and it depends what type of music, like what is it that you're interested in? It could be sound production, it could be whatever it is, right? Or an instrument or whatnot. Hannah, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how's it going? I walked with my mate by the river and enjoyed the sun. Don't worry. We demonstrated social distancing, physical distancing. Awesome. Hello, Coolio, how are you doing? Jazz performance, I love jazz. Jazz is phenomenal, right? Uh, but don't go into huge debt with it. Martin, how are you doing? I'm awake, mostly because I'm still up from Thursday. You're still up from Thursday. <laughs> Fun. I used to keep those hours, man. Those hours uh, give you an interesting perspective on the world. That's for sure. As for those of you who are watching this after the live stream, okay, and those of you who are watching this right now, woo, let's go avoid hook. How are you doing? I'm awake because I broke my no coffee past noon. Oh, check this out. Check this out. I got iced coffee. It's a rare, rare treat for me that I'm drinking iced coffee. I don't, I, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen me drink coffee. Might have done it on one stream, and it's phenomenal. It's like candy, right? Sweetened with honey. As for who I am and what we're doing here, I am on Patreon. That's going to be my main site. Uh, where I share information, always be making. Welcome, welcome. I was waiting to see your name pop up. So if you want to follow our work, I am on Patreon. It's a fantastic way to support this project, but you don't have to support this project with funds if you can, if you just want to follow our work because I everything I do is open. I don't put anything behind the paywall and you can just do the follow on Patreon and whenever I post something, you will get notifications. Okay, and this discussion that we're doing about education is really the central theme of what I'm doing, right? What I started doing like 14 years ago, basically, which is basic, basically creating math videos and deciding to create my own math curriculum because, in my opinion, our centralized education system was completely crap, right? And if you're interested to find out what the thesis of my work is on the main page, the description and on YouTube and BitChute, you will find this with video, which is sort of a channel trailer for Chicho for 2019 that I put out. And it's sort of a tour of the site. We take a look at the top 10 videos that are our top 10 videos on YouTube right now. And a lot of those are math related comic book related which is as well related to 
mathematics and other things right i sort of give you a tour of the site and how this stuff is you know the foundation of it is mathematics and if you want to know about this project you can check out two playlists one of them is education and the other one is my vision of sort of if you put them together there's a lot of overlap between the videos if you put them together you take a look at those videos it's basically talking about my uh, perspective on our current education system its failures how it's affecting every aspect of our lives and my vision incorporates some of those videos as well as my business model of how I'm approaching this independent uh, education channel okay and there's a lot of information there and we will discuss some of those things on this live stream as well okay if you're interested in following that work and again patreon is a fantastic way to follow this work and support this project we are live streaming on twitch uh chat is going and i will join chat as soon as i do our little intro that we're doing okay so if you're interested in following the stuff live twitch is where where you want to be at and we do upload these to other platforms right now bit shoot and youtube okay and i do announce these streams about 30 minutes beforehand before we go live on twitter gab minds l o n v k okay and i am active on all five obviously twitter has more followers right now and you can get in touch with me through either of those uh five platforms and we will be uploading these things to these videos all of them to bit shoot most of them to youtube okay and we did get approved for youtube membership channel membership and youtube channel membership is another great way to support the swap project as well as subbing following uh subscribing through twitch and youtube and bit shoot and i would recommend turning on notifications as well as joining patreon and we are in times of pandemic and what we want to do is flatten the curve do not overwhelm your healthcare systems uh healthcare infrastructure in these times because you want to show a little respect and make sure everybody is taken care of including your healthcare workers and the system will have the capacity to take on extra load if need be okay aside from that i'm going to turn these guys off i'm going to go to chat and i'm going to quickly just try to catch up with uh with the chat and then i'm going to read the little introduction that I'll always be making uh sort of a, a write-up that he put on our discord page and i'll let that guide us through this live stream uh, if you've been following my work you'll know that i have a lot of my own opinions about centralized education system okay reno mike how are you doing welcome everyone by the way ethiopian dragon uh, junior college for two years and my recommendation you save big money and you still get a great education also avoid private schools they are more expensive and aren't always a better quality education apply for scholarships apply for scholarships great recommendation also collaboration outside of school create your create your resume okay online have a website where you're sharing content collaborating with people that is extremely important that should be mandatory for anyone going to any type of education okay doesn't make that doesn't make a difference if it's apprenticeship if it's college if it's university if it's polytechnical school whatever it is it should be mandatory for you have a present presence online where you're creating content okay whatever it might be apply for scholarships or the other uh, is getting paid to go to school that's how many scholarships he has yeah there's a lot of scholarships out there okay like a great man once said isn't prop propaganda what british people say i don't know cryptomic thump how are you doing hey how's it going chicho hope everything is well doing well brother doing well seconding seconding junior college community college some of the best years of my life no lie awesome case man eraser i'm in my last uh, semester of my computer science bs awesome though i have many friends that went to college for music and followed their passion in spite of a financially stable path i wonder how much passion weighs against work for money a huge a lot of people sacrifice their lives for money 
which I do not recommend. The house of cars comes crashing down usually at some point in your life if you're choosing money over everything else and uh, it could destroy you okay and your loved ones of course they made it for late night workshop martin and now today we use it to worship at the <laughs> funny tristan hey chicho how are you doing uh how are you doing tristan welcome to our live stream too many useless information classes in school to a certain degree okay some of the information you think that's useless at first and then you realize it's not okay you should pre-record an asmr loop of this flatten the curve speech and your link promotion so you can just play it while you sit back and drink tea no coolio i like i like the interaction i like the challenge i like going through it it varies it changes sometimes i i stumble sometimes i stutter sometimes it works it's beautiful it comes out fantastic and that's uh, that's phenomenal for me for me it's sort of a game uh, sort of keeps me on my toes challenging right i don't mind i don't mind perfect martin says hi hi the stock market is <laughs> stock market hard then <laughs> glad to see you back kamer cameron kirby kirby cameron kirby cameron kirby jeez that took me way too long cameron kirby had a, it's really the lack of options i don't like the uh can the where where'd it go uh candelization con con the chanelization education based on its utility hey chicho hello el miro el homiro hello how are you doing who do you think does it better high school or college high school is brutal college depends hey 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 gang twitching jason how are you doing do you think that apathy is the death of a per personal soul uh, to a certain degree atomic um, so are a few other words descriptive words right entitlement is another one uh, okay entitlement is another one already case man <laughs> oh my god it's it's perfect because the weak trolls that come on and spew garbage like it's just random it's it's a byproduct of our centralized education system indoctrination where people have been bombarded with with just authority figures crushing them and they haven't been allowed to think beyond the most rudimentary level so whenever they have the just the slightest opportunity to spew what's inside of them just garbage comes out right it's very unfortunate very unfortunate these da, 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 da. Uh, college is a choice usually and is a much broader world uh, than high school yeah apathy is a product though a product of centralization centralization is brutal so gang let me read you what always be making posted on our discord page okay uh, in the education folder because i thought it, it was pretty good and we can take it from here and expand on it and focus on one thing or dismiss it if you guys want uh so i'm just gonna read this okay and then i'll come back to the chat uh and see where it takes us is seven quintillion a real number i had no idea trouble with education history we only get what we need to know what they tell us we need to know why does it feel so good sometimes to be so mean to people anonymously on the internet i don't know um it's it's lashing out it's, it's childish it's, it's chill you know weak insecure people tend to do that and though a lot of those seem you know as part of growing up where you're where you're like you know those when you're a kid you will run run in front you know and people's doors apartments and knock on the door and run away and giggle <laughs> right i mean how old were you when you did that um it's unfortunate that much older people end up doing that online but i guess they never had the opportunity to have that freedom to get that out of their system maybe maybe 
right? I can't deny that apathy fills me, but I definitely think that apathy is the worst thing anyone can gain. Um, see, Atomic, the, the kicker is, if, if you have apathy, then maybe you haven't found what your passion, where your passions are. The things that you're apathetic about are the things that maybe are being fed to you, right? And you have to reach out to find out what it is that you really want to put your time, energy, effort into. Reno Mike, what do you think of the of online schooling? I like it, like the schools are, are doing now. Uh, it really depends. I don't believe in the centralized online schooling system. I think that's garbage in large part. I think one-on-one -on -one education, one-on groups of three or four education is legit. I think once you go beyond that, where you're doing MOOC, where massive online courses with just 100,000 people trying to learn is legitimate, 100%, because from 100,000 people that sign up, maybe a couple of hundred finish the program, right? But you could have done that without signing up to MOOC or anything like that. If you're talking about high school type of education where they're doing online, which is one on you know the teacher and 30 people online listening and stuff that becomes a little bit too much as well because you need now really huge the progression is so fast you need individual interaction with educators uh, really i just recently had one student tell me i started working with them uh, recently one student tell me they were crazy excited super intelligent kid right like wants to go speedy gonzalez style right and he turned to me and said he, he felt he felt lucky because he didn't think he could find a math teacher that could that could feed him information the way he needed and as rapidly as he needed to learn mathematics right like oh my god right why isn't our education system able to accommodate that right incredible you have people out there that want to learn at a rapid pace but they're having a hard time finding a place to learn at a rapid pace right it's insane to me right because no matter who you are you need guidance it's one out of a million that can actually sit down behind a computer and without any guidance be able to educate themselves completely right there's a reason why one of the oldest uh what do you call it oldest jobs in the world oldest clear careers in the world is mentorship education right really along with a few other things right uh important question why is wine so good it depends on the wine have you ever drank crap wine oof nasty nasty there's a special place in my heart for juvenile troll <laughs> yeah and you could do trolling in an intelligent way unfortunately there is a lot of uneducated uh, indoctrinated weak trolls out there right it's part of a centralized edu education system that's all yes it is that, that, that number my zoom class got bombed four times in a row with hateful racist and pornographic stuff till someone whipped uh oh my god then my professor called it up oh my god that's insane <laughs> that's a good race star. that crafts me up but that's crazy no one more zero good evening chicho hello bds how are you doing why do uh professors not put passwords on their rooms i thought mine all do i don't know and the zoom has been getting hacked right uh I mean, what is it? Tesla and I think New York School Board just recently said that, you know, they banned their users, their employees from using Zoom, right? Notice the people do it because they never learn perspective and always make argumentative instead of offering solutions. They are mean, uh, they are mean to get attention, most disengaged when you try to spark a productive discussion a thumb to a certain degree there's also a lot of trauma that people grow up with so i've personally found that bullies in general those people that are mean they have been wronged in the past so they're trying to deal with it so there is there is mental issues uh, there as well right so we can't dismiss mean people as just being bad people sometimes that mean meanness comes from a root issue that they had to face when they were younger right so that has to be addressed 
in our society that's why i try to be fairly tolerant right uh, you have to be we have to be uh, it's the only way to heal our societies really and correct things it was password protected with someone was uh, leaking it everywhere <laughs> oh my god bomb wait bomb it's a numbers game get them in and get them out exactly it's assembly line mike reno zoom oh not very secure not very secure zoom is not very secure site force raid jesus i don't think zoom was prepared for this no i don't think so either there's disruptive innovation coming up all over the place legacy systems are collapsing left and right right yeah i love how zoom sold data to facebook and facebook sold it to everybody else right they really hello 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 spider-man how are you doing so sorry for being no worries spider-man it's all good brother ta -ta -ta -ta. it was until people called them out uh, greetings and blessings dr p how are you doing namsta namsta how are you spider-man okay let me read always be making's little write-up that he put on our discord page okay quote topic for the education stream i think streaming technology will turn out to be a key tool in progressive education in an effort to bypass sy systemic centralization streaming technology i believe will be paramount to decentralizing education i teach in a public stem academy which is project base i have a 3000 square foot workshop where we keep tools and materials which means we have the capacity to make or fix anything progressive education is in my heart i don't believe centralized education has learners interest in mind centralized education benefits corporate interests if i believe in learning as a fundamental mode in order to seek truth then i must be willing to have my learners uh, learners best interests in mind this is at odds with centralized education due to the pandemic i have had to pivot to an online facilitator uh, presence and in order order to most directly translate my pe pedagogy onto an online presence i have been streaming for two hours a day monday through friday i've done open discussion i've done q a i've done my own projects i've advertised the streams on online learning platform which is a technology survey indicates they definitely have access to which indicates they just aren't looking or they are looking and are just ignoring the resource either either result indicates a lack of drive to learn out of 140 students that i have i have one student who comes every day to talk and ask questions otherwise i have one student who pops in and out and i've seen maybe four forever on the live stream obviously my main worry is not that students aren't listening to me but rather that they don't feel any drive to seek learning on their own terms the main idea i've tried to instill in them since i met them if my main goal in life is to facilitate learning and the centralized education system isn't meeting that need i have a moral imperative to not participate in it which means i intend to bypass it to that end i think streaming technology is an answer but i don't know how to grow audience in an appropriate way my main question is what should i do if i feel the need to reach as many people as possible and rather should i not want that to want that okay and that is what uh graham always be making posted on our education folder and my reply was great intro to our live stream on education brother food for thought let's see where it takes us thank you okay and s someone else had a comment there as well and i'll you know if you want to read additional i'm pretty sure there will be additional comments um there uh, following that our discussion maybe possibly right so i thought that was a sort of a good intro some of the thought uh that as educators and what always be making posted is something that all educators are most likely thinking about for me i was lucky i decided 
two decades ago that I wasn't going to participate in the centralized education system. I looked into it. It wasn't going to happen, right? So I started creating, learning how to blog, and I started writing, and then I started making videos 14 years ago, right? Because that's where I wanted to be. So I had the time to build an audience, right? I know a lot of educators, a lot of people that, are, that want to teach, right? are getting online but they're coming online at a time where there's a lot of censorship happening there's a lot of noise there's a lot of different platforms so it's a little bit of time of decentralization a chaos taking place and people are having a hard time finding their footing unfortunately at the beginning stages a lot of the education websites a lot of the educators to a certain degree that wanted to teach they got they became very centralized, right? Some of them came out of Wall Street because they saw a growth factor there that they could cash out on, right? So they created all the stuff, brought in uh, funding, and they created all these platforms. But they, what they created was basically another centralized version of an online version of what we have right now, which is it suits some people but the majority of people are falling through the cracks. You can see it happening, right? If you're an educator, you see it happening, right? All of these centralized education platforms where they have guided exercises, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this, you, you get through, you learn all this stuff. It's a small percentage of students that are able to go through that system. Majority of people, as I said at the beginning, you need the interaction with an educator that will never change okay that will never change okay so we have to keep that in mind uh i'm just going to read some of the chat just to get caught up see what other thoughts are being play, uh, talked about i found many students hating do, uh, going to school or college some started hating studying what do you think about that yeah for sure and this addresses uh, uh bs20 Okay, this address is something that always be making mention, right? Always be making said he has 140 students uh, that are supposed to take the course. One shows up constantly, and there's four more that pop in and out, right? Now, my question to always be making or anyone that has is teaching at a centralized institution, how, how many of your students in that class right what percentage of students in that class signed up for that class because they really want to take that class and what percent signed up for that class because they needed it as an elective or as a mandatory course or just something to fill a curriculum because they didn't know what to do right so with always be making 140 students let's say five of them are interested because they're popping into his live stream is that the percentage of the people that sign up for this course because they really want to take it if that's the case then that's okay those are the five people that really are interested in what you're teaching right so forget about the centralized structure that says all of these people have to attend your live stream class because they have to take the course if they're not interested they're not interested the system is broken if they need to get the credit if they don't show up they don't get the credit right but don't worry about my recommendation would be don't worry about those people focus on the ones that really want to be there right because once you focus on the ones that really want to be there and start teaching them word of mouth gets out word of mouth gets out right and slowly build an audience maybe i should invest in internet security company maybe martin is very centralized right now uh, I'd like to know what we define progressive education as. That's an interesting term. Yeah, I, I don't know, actually, Case Man. Uh, I, I don't know what progressive education would be. For me, some people consider the way I teach my student to be very novel, right? It's, it is what it is, right? Hi. Could you share some insight on giving children teens math tutoring planning to give my small cousin some help what to look out for besides teaching in their uh, pace and be open to questions during the day the two things you just mentioned uh 
risk risk two are the two most important be ready to answer questions if you don't know the answer tell them you don't know the answer if you're online look it up together if you can't if you know they get a little frustrated and trying to find the answer tell them i'll find the answer and i'll come back to you okay pay attention to their questions there's no doubt about that pay attention pay attention to what they're interested in when it comes to mathematics right when you're working with someone when i do anyway when i'm working with someone that's interested in mathematics and i find that i'm losing them slowly right i start to dig a little bit find out what they're interested in right and once i you know get a grasp of what their mind is focused on i try to plant a little mathematics in there right for example one of the one of the ones i use a lot right i'll give you one of the tricks of the trade that i use to teach mathematics obviously i have a lot of students any teacher does any educator does that love gaming right so when i'm teaching uh kids students that are into gaming and we're when we're on the section of units and ratios fractions uh rational numbers right at the beginning stages when i'm teaching them how to add and subtract fraction multiply fractions when i'm teaching them unit conversion which is huge by the way right when i start teaching them that if i lose them at my disposal one of one of the things i have in my toolbox is i go hey listen uh, you play games right like literally this is my conversation with them i go yeah what the, what game have you been playing recently i obviously i do a good segue into that right i try to teach them stuff like this i go listen this this applies in the real world and i try to get them to ask me where does this apply in the real world where can i use this in my real life right if they're frustrated i go oh you game right and they go yeah i go well in your game you must follow your stats right so my segue to teaching kids about unit conversion ratios is to talk them talk to them drop hints that their games one of the most important aspects of their gaming life is the stats they accumulate through gaming. And then from there, once once it clicks, and I just feed them, and once it clicks, don't hold back. Feed them as fast as you can, right? Because you have a short window there where they're paying attention before they drift away, right? And that window really depends on your student. Sometimes it's up two minutes sometimes you have them for 10 minutes right so you show them the little trick talk to them about unit conversion and from unit conversion what i teach them right away i try to link it up to graphs right because ratios graphs are really your xy coordinate system right so i go oh your xy coordinate system is ratio and the slope is your ratio ba, 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 ba. right really so you have to be and that's one of the reasons our centralized education system doesn't work when you have 30 or 40 students in one classroom right you see doorways open up opportunity open up to feed certain kids information rapidly but you can't take advantage of that because out of you know class of 30 maybe you have two of them that have that opportunity window open at the same time so what are you going to do really what are you going to do and you have disruptions over there so this window is open for two students to rapidly feed them information bam peak their curiosity plant seeds for next year right and you have to plant seeds for next year never teach if you're teaching mathematics specifically or any subject right if you're for me i can only talk about physics and mathematics right but when i'm teaching them mathematics specifically if that window is open i teach them what they need to know at that moment speedy gonzalez style and i plant seeds for future lessons even even future years and once you do this rapidly multiple times you're aware of it right then 
the kids your students slowly put the pieces together and they get a larger picture of what's what's going on and that's where you want to take them once you've taken your students to to a level where they 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 get a higher perspective ridiculously important higher perspective you're on easy street right you front end loaded the work you need to do to get your students to a level where you can coast and your job your workload reduces right and that's what i try to do personally so that's the recommendation i have for you if you're trying to teach mathematics it as for specific topics in the mathematics there's a lot right i have lots of little tools at my disposal that i learned over the last 25 years that i use to be able to bypass barriers right and i've shared a lot of that stuff in the videos we've put out okay airman i'm gonna scroll down gang i, I know there's a lot of chat a lot of chat going on for those of you who've been following subscribing th thank you very much for the follows and subscribe if there's anything that i'm missing okay that is directed towards me please let me know i'm just going to scroll down and read chat so if it doesn't say chicho i'm not going to read it uh, just because i want to get caught up with the chat right i would say 75 percent of my students actively signed up for the course 25 percent chose it because they didn't like any of the other options and five percent were put in there randomly so i would say 70 percent of my students actively signed in so you got 70 percent man you're lucky you always be making okay so the trick is how do you get more students popping in i think this is something novel that's taking place right that a lot of students are not used to this online platform of learning right so it's going to take a little bit of time and they're being forced into it they're in the middle of a pandemic they're stuck at home with family members and teenagers being stuck in a confined area for an extended period of time with people they constantly interact with the mental health issues there must be huge right so be patient uh, and try different things always be making really uh, I, I personally wouldn't want to be in, in your situation you're in a tough spot right you're in a tough spot uh, but I would say maybe even uh, instead of 140 students popping in this is one option you do have okay I'll always be making you're saying you're streaming every day for two hours right okay you're streaming every day for two hours send out a notice to your students say hey listen you don't need to attend every stream which streams and give them say they have to pop in for one stream a week or two streams a week right ask them which stream they want to attend and reduce the number of people that are signed up for your course that are logging on to your stream from 140 reduce it down to i mean even 150 divided by five is 30 students per two hour live stream which to me is still a lot right so you could break it down into five segments and send out notices to your students saying this is the scheduled stream your weekly stream that you have to attend to. okay so narrow it down for them one thing people don't really appreciate and it comes from unschooling and i i don't mind unschooling i i love homeschooling but one thing people have to appreciate is kids need guidance right there's a lot of people there that say oh you can just put kids in front of a computer and they'll learn anything yes but they need guidance we all need guidance right so you can kids can learn fast but they need help they need they need people to ask questions of they need people to bounce ideas off right because one of the most frustrating things in learning okay is when you're learning really fast and then you hit one little thing that it takes forever for you to find an answer to okay apply that to us that are online right now how many times in your life from being online if you're gaming if you're creating a website if you're doing whatever it is online how many times have you spent hours sometimes days trying to find an answer 
to something that just a simple hotkey would do exactly what you needed to do where you have to filter through a ton of garbage it gets so frustrating right may you may be sound editing you may be video editing you may be doing whatever it is you're sitting there you you get pissed off frustrated three hours later you still haven't found what you wanted to do you found a little patch that almost does what you want to do that you can use but it's not really does not satisfying it doesn't do exactly what you want to do and then you use that patch for a few days and then you realize it's not working so you come back online trying to search kids are the same right but kids get frustrated much faster okay teenagers preteen so they get frustrated a lot faster we have to accommodate that frustration we have to be able to provide guidance may it be through an educator may it be through peer system may it be through parents okay a pretty good ratio always yeah that's a crazy ratio 70 percent i want to keep on scrolling down gang Okay. there's a lot of discussion being taken place between people uh, no attendance no grades wow 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 okay so I'm all the way down to uh, the bottom of chap I'm just gonna read some of the stuff uh, case map which is what gives uh, da, 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 what gives us such freedom to really learn now yeah for sure uh, second thing what Chicho uh, just said the biggest problem with my uh, stepdaughter middle school is that she learns too fast school is not challenging her so she gets bored with it quick yeah that's most of my students by the way that's that's the reason most of my students a lot of people where I start initially working with them when they don't even know how to add and subtract the only reason they don't know that is because they got bored early on right once you teach them that El Rapido, right? Feet, feet, feet. There's a 40% chance that McDonald's would get my order wrong. So Burger King have better long things. <laughs> Martin, laugh out loud. Case man's laughing. Obviously, my day is spent uh, differentiating instruction for different students, and I can go man. I know how to accommodate any kind of student. I really think okay, I'll always be making that's good. To be honest, if I didn't have math discord, I would have never discovered figured out some stuff. Want to uh, went to tutor at school and they were bad at explaining and were other uh, and were other students. Community college tries to save money any way possible. Yeah, thumb it's it's the financialization of our education system which is one of the major problems that we face right it's horrendous it's horrendous right community college colleges are not super well funded so i sort of understand it but i watched a lot of my fellow students struggling because they didn't have the resources yeah yeah there's a lot of kids sitting there just dying hoping that they'll encounter someone that will help them learn the material right and at some point you know if they can't find someone to learn that material they find they come across people that are teaching something else and they go in that direction right some of it is indoctrination Chicho, it's random problems with totally incorrect solutions like the education system. Soaked walnuts. Okay, easier for the tummy. I just want people to want to learn. Um, it's, it's difficult to force that on a lot of people and what you want doesn't necessarily have to be the way things should be always be making right and this situation sometimes people just want to do right they don't want to learn they just want to apply what they already know right so we shouldn't have to force learning on them we just have to accommodate people in a way that they can fulfill whatever desires that they have in a productive way right in a in something that contributes to their lives in a beneficial way right 
and this situation has made me feel like it's too late for some students I, I disagree it's not too late for some students uh, some people will fall through the cracks and they, they won't come back right maybe maybe usually it's because either they're angry or too apathetic it's seldom because they're too lazy it, I, sometimes sometimes I don't want to uh, want that to be true and so I'm trying to scrabble at uh, scrabble at them uh, and trying to get them engaged and I'm trying my best and it's just not enough so always be making I know you're teaching within a centralized education system right so you're limited on the discussion you can have but have you put it out there for them to say hey listen in this in this session we're going to talk about what you guys have in mind right what is occupying your thoughts I don't know if that's even allowed within a centralized education system but sometimes I do that with my students I stop teaching them math and I say hey what are you doing what, what are your thoughts what's what's going on uh, any concerns and slowly let them talk right because one thing preteens and teens need to do is they need to talk I swear some of the sessions I have it's just them telling me about <laughs> the love that they have for this game and how they encounter it and how they play a game and what I do as they're telling me a story I plant seeds about mathematics right so I'm not teaching them math I'm explaining to them while they're telling me a story how mathematics is crucial in their lives right or in their game so chicho you're an educator how do you split the difference between making education affordable and paying educators well enough to incentivize them to stay in the system and teach uh are you ready welcome welcome um i i don't try to incentivize educators to stay within a system okay i i, I don't i don't think the system is the solution um, I've I've met a lot of educators in the last 20 years right uh, for the first five years or so I worked with them within the system after that I told every educator you need to be online I've been telling every educator I've met for the last at least 15 years that they need to have a presence online they need to be online okay because the centralized education system has completely collapsed and they need to be able to educate people who are interested in educating as well as those that they encounter that are falling through the cracks of our centralized education system okay so uh, as far as the affordability goes i'm doing what i'm doing i like uh, this is a business model for me by the way I, I do want to make sure that this is sustainable that I can do this for the rest of my life exactly what I'm doing here creating videos having discussions creating mathematics but it hasn't been and I've been doing this for 15 years 14 years right and that hasn't prevented me okay it has affected my life in a certain degree that of uh, finance wise you know th th there's th there I haven't uh, okay let me put it this way i haven't chased the carrot i haven't gone in the direction to make myself millions of dollars i've gone in the direction to make sure i'm having an effect on our society i'm helping people out okay i'm teaching mathematics i'm building a long-term business model it links up to our personal finance stuff right long-term business model where I'm doing a lot of work on the front end hopefully for it to pay off in the long end down the road right so all educators right now have to have that in mind if you really want to teach if you're here for the reasons that I believe in my opinion most educators should be there for right there's a lot of people that are in our centralized education system they're there to get their 
a job, to be paid, to be in a position of authority, to do this, to do this, to do this. To do this. There are a lot of educators in the education system that are there for the right reasons. As Krishna Morty said, they're there for the love of it, right? To make sure they're allowing students to be who they want to be, right? Without indoctrination, right? Without submitting to authority, right? So um, teaching within the system, not possible. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to encourage any teacher any educator to teach within the system if anything I would encourage them to come out of the system as far as becoming financially independent uh, it's a difficult road uh, but it's a battle well worth fighting really it it's huge uh, the one of the benefits that I that I get by doing this that I've had that I've been able to 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 reach uh, is to be able to put my head down at night and sleep soundly my conscience is clear right that to me is worth all the golden what's that saying all the golden well there's no gold in the, in the vaults in some of the central banks but all the gold in the ground right uh, always be making chicho there's no forcing in my statement i want them to trust me enough to believe me that they can do it my job is not to teach chicho my job is to facilitate learning to cultivate what it re what is really there for sure always be making so how are you going to achieve that right one of the things you have to do like for example have you honestly told your students that the centralized education system completely sucks it's horrendous but it's something that piece of paper that they need to have every single one of my students that i have worked with over the last 20 years has heard me say our centralized education system completely sucks it has failed our societies that is the reason that i am teaching them right otherwise they wouldn't need my help but that doesn't lift the burden on them to educate themselves and to make sure they get that piece of paper coming out of high school because if they don't they are idiots okay like really i don't care if they're in grade seven grade grade six and seven i take it a little easy high school students every single one of them has heard me say this and the students that i work with that are in grade six and seven right that graduate to high school once they get into high school they hear me say that as well you have to be honest with your students it's not about just creating a nice place for them to learn you have to be honest with them because the kids know what's wrong right if they can't even if they're not able to put their finger on it they know something is systematically wrong so maybe change the way you're interacting with students talk to them about their problems their issues uh, i do i have to right i'm pre-med in my mid-30s originally obtained a degree in social work wow social work is burnout rate is huge control zen what subject are you teaching uh case man asks always be making I teach engineering and manufacturing and physics and amazing courses by the way i'll always be making like oh wow 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 right uh coolio do you think that general uh education subjects are important the only two uh, two courses that are important coolio as far as i'm concerned in school right in school that everybody has to excel in or your natural language whatever english whatever it is that you're learning and mathematics because if you are able to read and write your natural language very well and you understand the language of mathematics very well then all the other subjects you can learn inside out okay those are the two core that need to be in every student's uh, curriculum all the way to grade 12. as far as i'm concerned our education system should be able to teach everyone all of high school mathematics right aside from that there are some key courses that i would recommend everybody take one of them is earth sciences 
as far as i'm concerned earth science should also be mandatory for everyone we live on this planet we better understand how this planet is structured right and other subjects as well right finance being one of them right not wall street finance true finance right some good teachers of i've had uh, retired from another job and decided to teach or new teachers that haven't been worn down by the system the ones who did it for the paycheck and were five plus years in they didn't have the motivation and always were tired and defeated a new teacher sleeping in their cars teachers wages in the united states is horrible based on the cost of education uh thrump i agree with you 100 percent. like one of the reasons like i can uh, here's the reason i didn't go into the centralized education system and you have to appreciate by the way where i come from like for me to be able to do what i did online what i'm doing here i took a serious pay cut <laughs> like i can't explain to you guys what kind of a pay cut i took right just to let you know i've had heavyweight championship tickets sent to me in the 1990s from las vegas inviting me to go down to world heavyweight championship boxing matches with room board entertainment all everything paid for so i was living that type of lifestyle and when i decided to go to do this i went pay level here down to here right it's not that i regret it and i don't regret it it's one of the best decisions i ever made in my life right the reason being is i'm not defeated as trump says right but one of the reasons i didn't go into the centralized education system was if i was going to take a pay cut like that right there's no way i was going to do it for a centralized system because i looked at how much teachers were being paid and i went that is insane there is no way i'm willing to do the type of work that is required to be able to teach students for that pay and to be submissive to authority myself they had to be out of their minds right so i did a it took me a week to decide that i looked at numbers i looked at this it wasn't even a week within a couple of hours i looking at it, i went no man that ain't where i'm going i'm going in a different direction right so yeah there's a lot of defeated people in their current education system get out get out the tools are, are available at your disposal right now you might take a pay cut you might have to downsize figure it out figure it out you you won't believe the demand for math tutors right now right when i first started there wasn't too much tutoring going on right but as it's progressed as our education system has completely collapsed even further and further once you get a foothold in your community you build trust and people know that you're an amazing teacher and that's the way it should be right it should be word of mouth they should crappy teachers should not be able should not have the opportunity to teach classes of students handle because they they suck the life out of students right but once if you're good if you care if there's love in your education right once the word of mouth goes out you'll be overwhelmed by how many people want your services right but it might take time to get up to that level make sure you have the finances and the sanity all right and the mental ability to see you through that period right and if it's not working for you adjust 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 we're in flux right now teachers should be paid more but their motivation incentive should be changing the world by making a well-informed uh populace agreed with you coolio and teachers should be paid more as far as i'm concerned what they were what the pay rate is or was 20 years ago when i looked into it for teachers right for me there's no way i would have even gone there if it wasn't five times what it was because as far as i was concerned the 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 work that i want i wanted to put into teaching was not here it was five times here they weren't even in the right ballpark right 
in terms of what they offered, in terms of finances, for me to be able to put my heart and soul into the project. Like not even close. Should they be paid paid more? They should be paid multiple times more than what they're offering, right? And there should be mechanisms mechanisms in place that if someone is not meeting their obligations of teaching, they should hit the road, right? I'm hard on both fronts because education, right, is is crucial for our societies. The reason we're in this mess right now is because of the failures or the successes of our centralized education system. And successes I'm count, counting because the centralized system wanted our, the population to be indoctrinated, to be dumbed down, to believe what authority capital was telling them, right? So I say our centralized education system has completely collapsed according to my perspective according to centralized power centralized capital it is functioning exactly the way they have designed it to function right to enslave the population okay to make them dependent on the centralized power okay my mother is a teacher and my father has a teaching degree though he never used it in education career I can't argue with that the educators I remember are the ones that work within the system but taught well beyond the constraints of the centralized system yeah uh, Chicho every day I do every day Chicho I'll always be making I feel your brother I, I I can't offer you comfort and advice you're within the system it's it's a tough place to be brother okay uh, the geologist wants everyone to learn earth science of course of course <laughs> uh, always making chicho I'm telling you we have discussions on philosophy centralized education how to learn why we learn how to seek truth religion politics even in my engineering courses we are honest and genuine and we tell the truth and I thought that we had that relationship uh, you can imagine my sadness oh brother when nobody came in the end oh brother I feel you I'll always be making look don't be disheartened this is new this is like you've been you started this thing up I, I know what you would have gone in there with right your hopes and your dreams and aspirations and you you did this hard work to make sure you were available for and they didn't show right they didn't show it's a, it's a hard hit to take but don't lose your faith right don't don't lose that inspiration you had to do this work with what you have the students that you have they don't show tell them listen gang i'm putting my heart and soul into this you need to show up to these things how can i accommodate you i know you're saying you've done all this right so the only thing i could say is hopefully within with time it'll sort itself out but keep in mind you're doing this at a time where the stresses in our society are enormous you're doing this at a time where it's a global pandemic right where two billion people are under lockdown people are freaking out who knows what their home lives are like right so don't expect things to happen right away really right I'm gonna scroll down again, gang. I'm gonna scroll down again. Just get down to the bottom. Ch -ch -ch. Big bad, big fat truth bombs tonight, Chito. Tell them, yeah, in case man. It, it's education. It's ridiculously important. What's up, Chicho? Jick Seven, how are you doing? What's up, everyone? Welcome to another live stream. People who don't understand history will never understand themselves. Yeah. We need to know our history, as Caseman says. We need to know. And true history, not indoctrination, right? I'm interested to learn from your uh, work. I would appreciate it if you share, and, uh, share, share it somehow. BS20. Uh, case man how do we educate the masses without the centralized system 
we have to decentralize everything we have to offer freedom to everyone okay the centralized it, it's it's not a the centralized system right now is centralized indoctrination how teaching is done is top-down model that doesn't work right we need it to be bottom-up model what do kids want to learn provide them the platforms for them the space for them to learn what they want to learn right that's the way um uh, the model i'm using to create the math content right what i need to teach so for example i need to teach ratios like ratios are huge right i need to teach, teach ratios one of the most important things that we need to get out of high school mathematics right and it's super simple so what have i done for that i created a series of mathematics on food and farming with friends that had a csa that had a farm right and i didn't know anything about food and like farming anyway so i learned that stuff and i linked it up with ratios i created a series of initial series anyway about the mathematics of art and design and talked about perspectives right so my idea of teaching mathematics units and ratios is not teaching units and ratios is creating modules to teach people what they want to teach while overlaying that with units and ratios right that's why i call it math in real life right that's what the thesis of my work is the modules the math modules i want to create i want someone to be able to go online and say they want to learn how to grow food right and once they do that do little rudimentary research they'll know that okay they need to learn a little bit of mathematics to be able to do their crop layouts and do the planning and do the financing and organizing and all this jazz to be able to be a farmer right so they'll go online and go growing food farming math and when they press enter i want one of the top searches to be once we finish putting it together a module offered by chicho on math in real life right that teaches people the mathematics they need to have to know to be able to be a farmer right i don't want to teach people mathematics for them to go out and learn to be a farmer i want people who want to learn to be a farmer to learn the mathematics the other way around right that's my thesis i don't know if i answered that but uh i lost the <laughs> lost the question it scrolled down tell uh da, 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 da. goops hello how are you doing hi bing da, da, da. i'll tell you what i miss about uh sending the kid to school five days a week is daytime child care case man <laughs> just imagine the stress parents are out are are, are in with their preteen and teen kids being home all the time and they got their they're crawling on the walls and they're freaking out because they can't get together with their friends right found it thanks brother awesome uh i believe i have the power to help anyone learn or do anything together we can do anything and there's power in that always be making i don't agree with your statement i'm phenomenal as you know right when it comes to teaching mathematics but i can't teach everyone right i don't have a hundred percent success rate I got like a 95% success rate, which is phenomenal, right? But I can't teach everyone. There isn't a single teacher that can teach everyone in the world. It doesn't work that way. So that's something I learned right off the bat. I tried my heart and soul with some students, man. I lost some students, right? Unfortunate. Sometimes it was because of mistakes. I made the wrong thing I said at the wrong time, right? Sometimes it was on them. Sometimes it was on both of us, right? So I don't think I have the ability to teach everyone, but I have the ability to teach many people, right? I think all schools should be dependent financial, independent financial institutions where students pay to go the, to go, uh, those some kids of insurance and savings program. Uh, Martin, I agree uh, in large part right uh, unfortunately our current education system uh, our current economic system is so has so devastated our 
populace that a lot of people can barely afford to buy food let alone pay for education for example because of what's gone what's gone on with COVID, with the pandemic and all of these unemployments in the united states the numbers were 30 percent right of people miss their monthly rent payments in april or they were late with it what the crap right 30 percent of people were either late or missed their april rent payments after two three weeks of this thing really the wave coming into the united states that's a completely collapsed society as far as i'm concerned and that's not just the united states that's across the board okay so it's going to take time for us to reach your la you, the level that you're mentioning martin and by the way martin this is the this is the business model i have let me tell you one of the inspirations i had to do what i'm doing what i have been doing for the last 15 years online okay back in the late 1980s and i have a I've, I've planned on making videos of what my inspirations are for my business model that I'm following and why I got into education and why I think it is sustainable. Okay. In the late 1980s, I watched a documentary on an, on a priest in India. Okay. It, it inspired me. It stuck with me and I have, it's one of my two go-to motivation thoughts that i need to keep me going okay and i haven't been able to find that documentary i saw it once that was it it planted a seed and that really was one of the catalysts that gave birth to chicho okay or the chicho platform that you see before you right this priest in the interview they asked him what he was doing and this is what he was in charge of he had a school in india okay and all puns aside and any conspiracies and all that forget about that stuff we're talking genuine take it take it with beauty not negativity right so this priest had a has had a school it started off with showing this priest having a school in india and there is it's sort of a boarding school right and it's about orphaned kids specifically orphaned uh, boys right males right and this school at the time back in the late 1980s was graduating like i don't know 20 to 30 kids a year or 12 or 15 to 25 kids a year or something like this and the interview was being conducted in the court like it was a sort of a closed off school and there was court in the middle where all the kids were playing around and there were some older older men there too that were um they were interviewing the 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 priest and they were interviewing some of his graduates that had graduated over the last couple of decades from the school right and they were talking to them and saying what's going on here who is this person and stuff like this and what the priest said i don't know if it was the priest or one of the kids that had graduated and they were, he was successful in a business and he had hired people and stuff right so this school was set up to teach orphaned um and street kids right and specifically male so they interviewed the priest and the priest said yeah i came to india and i set up a parish here and i looked around me and the homeless kids all around us were incredible so he said i started off i took three kids in okay I started off with three kids that were homeless, three boys that were homeless. Okay, and there were more, right? He said there were a lot more that needed his help, but all he could do was focus on three. He goes, I started off with three kids in the 1960s or something. He did this and he made sure they were getting the education they needed, they were getting the food they need, needed, and they were getting the shelter they needed to be able to grow, become educated and go live their lives as free human beings right so he started off with three students after two decades he had this huge school set up right or 
medium-sized school set up and he was educating i think at the time was like 200 kids that were living there eating there learning there, graduating and throughout that time kids have graduated and the way he was getting his funding was as kids were graduating they were setting up you know companies or they were going working somewhere and making money and they were sending money back to the school right so the funding for the school for this priest project was coming was fully sustainable through all of the graduates that had already gone through his school and they were grateful to this priest right that is my business model that is the business model i think every educator online should work towards right doesn't make a difference how many people you start off with start off offer that platform offer this education right for me the way i look at it is you have over you can imagine how many people have told me over the years that how grateful they are of what i've provided online right even if a small fraction of those people come back and start supporting this project i can do this indefinitely forever as well as have, have extra funds available to be able to expand and make sure we're taking care of other things that is one of the business models i have always be making that's i would recommend to be one of the main core building blocks of your business model it takes time a lot of heart and soul brother okay uh, case man chicho should be teaching every student in the world we found <laughs> no. chicho a i don't necessarily think that's true everyone is not the same as everyone it's a matter of facilitation it's conditional uh, of course it's conditional of course I'm t i was taking you literally by the way always be making that was supposed to be a b not a man with the uh, sunglasses <laughs> i like the man with the sunglasses <laughs> da, 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 da. chicho i'm not losing my passion for facilitating learning i'm trying to pivot to an online presence i'll let someone else talk now um yeah awesome always be making i think you're doing the right things right it's just you're going through major growing pains right now that is a nice thing Chicho. always be making you're awesome awesome that is a nice thing to say i don't feel awesome you should feel awesome everyone should feel awesome really all right support you chose thanks case man always making my parents pay for my education now all my friends who went to government school don't seem to be equal to me later in life real motto uh you get what you pay for to a certain degree martin i agree with you and pay for not necessarily just with funds but with your time and energy right you, you won't believe how many of my friends when we're graduating when we're going through high school i would tell them look man just learn math learn math put the time and effort in right a lot of people didn't uh, that shows up that shows up okay that uh, education pays in the long run okay is front-end work that's a red herring a person's salary is more closely related to the parents income rather than what school they went to for now I'll always be making but it's it's something that shouldn't restrain people right uh, can limit people I really wish more people understood statistics and exponential growth. Case man, 100%. Statistics is one of the core things I would focus on in high school education if I was to build, and I am building a curriculum, right? Statistics should be one of the main key chapters, sections that is taught starting in grade eight, going all the way to grade 12. walnuts soaked in water very good 
really easy to digest and delicious a little bit of munchies goes a long way and coffee Why do we always be making is this conversation sort of going in the right direction or addressing some of the things you want to talk about a good foundation of stats leads into a fundamental understanding of the social sciences which is my passion yeah and business and economics and politics everything statistics is layered everywhere logic i wasn't talking about money I'm just plain more intelligent, better social skills and knowledge base. This thing's so addictive. The crunch crunch is so awesome. Always been making chicho sort of. I've had underlying anxiety about my status as, as a classroom teacher for a while now. Yeah, I can imagine, brother. If you are to create a new educational system, how would you visualize it? And for how long? F uh, if that's to me, uh, BS20, for how long? Forever? Okay. And I have a couple of videos I'm going to be putting out uh, that I need to shoot regarding the model that I want or the website, the platform that I want, which is basically module based of what skills you want to learn, right? So what skills you want to learn, you create a little intro for that. And you have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a data set here, which is your videos and your content, your macros that you can embed into the process that you need to go through to be able to learn to grow food, right? And then all the macros would come in and all there are different modules or different macros linked up in this module of how to teach mathematics right or how to grow food in the mathematics the syntax is embedded in there always be making threw a big question in there mate let's go kick kick it into the stratosphere options let's consider an online platform plus public libraries and market spaces for students to go to plus community expert network so always be making let's consider an online platform plus public li libraries and market market spaces for students to go to plus community expert network always be making phenomenal right you have the resources the 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 tools that anybody would need to be able to learn right what i meant with how long is what you need before you start learning on your own everybody's different bs20 everybody's different and it depends what they want to learn and what your dedication is uh how much time you're going to put into what you want to learn right so everybody's different that's the key right the platforms just have to be a available the tools ready for people to learn at whatever pace they want to learn right the problem with our current centralized education system one of the core problems with our current centralized education system it's providing the same pace of learning for everyone oh my god how ridiculous the same pace for every kid what insanity is that right case man what age do you think we can start letting kids choose what they want to learn as asap kindergarten math and english their root two things you have to teach them from kindergarten and the rest of it you provide options what do they want to do i'm finding that my daughter needs a certain degree of structure to flourish and yeah you need structure for sure right but 
the structure can be there while you give them the choice to learn right the the structure doesn't have to be there specifically for this thing right the structure is is the the steps they need to take to be able to learn whatever they need to take the math and the english mandatory kids have to take that all right the rest of it if they want to learn how to cook then you teach them how to cook but make sure that you're showing them recipes and then modify the recipes you make one batch and then make one and a half batches so they learn fractions as well at the same time so you have to do unit conversion right figure out what the ratios are right there they're cooking they learn math so that's the model i i, I would do right what do you mean by macros do you have more information about this uh written somewhere I, i've talked about it i haven't written it down now well i have sort of and sort of not i would have to go through i've i've had i've been blogging for 15 years right I've, I've written a lot so i don't i can't remember if i made videos of this thing or written it down but make basically macros like this right so for example let's take cooking food right so kid wants to learn cooking right from kindergarten right they want to learn cooking they want to learn how to make cookies right so you ask them what type of cookie you want to make chocolate chip cookies i want to make chocolate chip cookies okay great okay let's bring up a chocolate chip cookie recipe and you go online find chocolate chip cookie recipes and pick the one that they want to do which one do you want oh i want to do this one okay great you got the recipe you know two cups flour uh, half a cup of chocolate chips and all this jazz right and then you say okay now we don't want to make one batch if we want to make cookies let's make cookie for your group let's say you're teaching in groups or let's make cookies for the whole family you want to make lots of cookies chocolate sugar yes let's make lot so let's make three times the batch okay great okay we have to calculate what it is oh how do we do that great here's your macro unit conversion whoop you embed the unit conversion right so the introduction the purpose of this module is to make chocolate chip cookies so you go through you pick it you go through the routine pick the recipe you want and to be able to learn that you need to learn how to do cross multiplication proportionality and you don't it doesn't have to be long there could be short lessons right they could learn it in, in like 15 minutes as long as they know their multiplication right if they don't know multiplication whoop you embed the multiplication macro so when you embed the macro for unit conversion when the kids are going through and you say okay proportionality means this ratio has to be equivalent to this ratio you set an equal sign and if you want to make three batches because this was one batch then you put x this is what you need to find and they go well what does this mean this equal sign oh you don't know how to move around an equal sign oh let me show you that Whoop. how to move around an equal sign that's your macro right there so interactive way for someone to learn okay that's what i mean so math in real life right and this is the way i've modeled my all the videos all the math content i have i have two websites math in real life language of mathematics if you type in math and life.com and language of mathematics.com or the language of mathematics.com i can't remember they'll take you to my blog spot page right so one is the language of mathematics and the other one which i call the language of mathematics is the syntax of the language those are the two things that i've been teaching the asmr math stuff sort of goes in between the two right so that's what i've been doing that's the model i'm following uh way to dust i hope that makes sense right everybody's different to me say we need smaller class sizes we need smaller class sizes there's no doubt about that and all those politicians and economists that come up no you can do class size doesn't matter they're talking out of their ass okay as soon as someone says that i just just dismiss almost everything else they say because they're talking garbage right you can let children decide when they are four years old or e even earlier K i agree with always be making and that's in reply to caseman asking how old can they be 
100% agree with all we've been making. As soon as they want to learn something, teach it to them. All right? They want to learn how to play with fire, teach them about fire. Okay. With advancements of AI, future AI will be able to autonomous adjustment to student abilities and schedule to help them reach the destination. That uh, Bakul Dada, we're about 20 to 30 years away from that. So for me, I'm into doing this. And the macros, the way I... I modeled what I want to build. That is part of, and I wouldn't call it AI, it's just automation, right? Machine learning or modules, I guess. Oh, someone went. Good night. Who left? Someone went to sleep. Good night. I just found this. Uh, Ray, uh, Andre, how are you doing? This seemingly interesting stream quick uh, resume on what's going on seemingly i hope you're enjoying it if you're still around i'm gonna scroll down gang chicho oh there's a chicho one there oh there's two chichos there very clever way to do it sneaking macros in through practical use 100 percent way to dust that's the way i've been teaching for 20 years right but i've been doing it individually and i know how to do it and i know what it takes it's brilliant you support this work Doop. here's my patreon page if you like what you see if you like what i'm talking about follow our work through patreon okay if you have the means support this work through patreon support this work through twitch support this work through youtube joining youtube right I'm saying this now going a little bit hardcore because we're in times of shift taking place. I got a lot of content on there. It's a good time to roll it into the next phase, right? And I'm excited to do so. Okay. Especially with these live streams. It's fantastic. Right? Chicho IQ has to be <laughs> no brother. Void hook. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Chicho is exactly right. If a student wants to learn X, you do everything you can to help them follow that path and you inject wisdom into whatever it is they want to do in many subjects. The world is a beautiful place full of uh, complexity and mixed subjects. That's what it means to facil facilitate learning. You find ways to facilitate growth based on a child's interest. That's it. All right? that's education that's what education should be but it isn't right now our centralized education system I'll always be making you're the kind of person i always love to have as a teacher that's a beautiful philosophy and it helps people so much 100 percent case man case man and martin are whisper it all comes down to a philosophical debate i had with myself about what is necessary to have learning and what is necessary to have school very little it turns out yeah i definitely feel like uh so andre i definitely feel like uh, when we're separated into smaller groups in college that everyone feels more comfortable and confident about practice um, participating engagement and attention levels are just way higher personally you feel it's more personal with a full group there's always such a disconnect there's always such a disconnect all right chicho me and the other mods would like to uh nominate always be making for mod status done deal let's do second if you like a sword always done deal always be making if you like a sword are you cool with this and keep in mind we're very tolerant right banning it, we do initially we barely did any banning we do a little bit more banning now just because our channel's grown more right sometimes we're getting a lot of activity sometimes less so there's a little bit of troll activity gets ready for nights <laughs> we need always be making to confirm right sure i know how to take care of business awesome always be making and be kind 
don't kill people right off the bat. Uh, sometimes we're all frustrated, right? But mod always be making. Boop. You've added always be making as a moderator on this channel, and we'll do it on uh, Discord as well. So just remind us to do it on Discord, and I'll uh, give you the mod status on Discord as well, brother. Okay. So hard go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the gang, right? The Chichonians. Everybody's a Chichonian, right? Oh my god. And you gotta eat healthy. Welcome, welcome, Coolio says. That's nice, thanks. Awesome. Uh, Caseman, Andre, I was invited into a small group, uh, group in environment in college with the Honors College program, and it was absolutely wonderful. But it's what I wish everyone's college experience was, but it is it's because I already proved I could engage with the school on their terms. Mm hmm. And case man, the odds are you were social. There are a lot of kids, a lot of people that aren't very social, right? Because they've been burnt or society is too overwhelming or they just want to be in their own world. Those people need to be, you know, we have to provide the platform for them to be able to take advantage of small groups and slowly bring them into the fold. Our current education system doesn't do it. I dub these always I dub these sir always be making. Yeah. Brilliant people that just can't be social. Which is slowly if things turn sour, they become bitter and closed off. And it doesn't go nice after that. I'm addicted to walnuts right now. Really, I'm going crazy with them. The goal, obviously, would be to give those students the options they need. Because if they don't get those options, they grow resentful. Yeah. And I've, unfortunately, I've seen some students, uh, you know, life just knocks them around. Just because they resisted, they and sometimes sometimes this is how brutal life is they could be on a good path they're changing they're all of a sudden something happens where they revert back to where they were maybe a year or two years before that right the longer they stay hopeful and learning and look forward to the future the harder it is to knock them down to a level where they weren't participating, but it can happen, right? Because life is brutal. So one of the things I do try to explain to my students as well is life is brutal. You have to grow thick skin, right? You have to grow thick skin. It's unfortunate, but we do, right? The real social problem, way to dust, the real social problem for me was less about the relation relation with students but with teachers absolutely agree about bitterness it's easy to fall into this when you don't relate with your teachers yeah and i've had some crappy teachers like i haven't had too many good teachers like really like i maybe count like five if that right case man i'm a um, I'm a medicine student, Andre. I'm a medicine student. So some of the practice teachings impose a necessity for smaller and smaller groups for a number of reasons. But yeah, I'm sure if that was the case with me my entire life, I'd be way more compelled to pay attention to certain classes and just be more open. Yeah, Andre, I get into classes with... Uh, preemed students in the honors college some of the most driven people i've ever met nice bad teachers ruin good subjects bad teachers ruin good subjects 
mathematics being one of them how many i've had i almost didn't go the way of mathematics because of one bad teacher really amazing golden god now, honestly i feel like i'm fortunate almost all my life teachers were great oh you are very fortunate i always hear about nightmare teachers but have never experienced it really you're very very fortunate you are fortunate always be making says be sure to pay it forward however you can 100 percent from new york worst professor i ever had was a math professor at community college holy art still makes me cringe now <laughs> Imagine a timeline without a math loving teacher. <laughs> I've been making those political videos that, that so many people make that are yelling at the screen saying, The world is ending. The world is ending. Which I am, but in ASMR format. <laughs> Andre, teaching is a technique that hasn't been refined and mastered, so to speak, in my perspective. The problem is, for the amount of people that go through high school and universities currently, there isn't a good logical way to accomplish an ideal environment for learning. I think there is, Andre. We have to completely redesign our education system, right? It's, it, it exists, right? It's called smaller class sizes, better quality of life for teachers. That includes higher pay for teachers, right? More facilities for kids to learn. Basically, our communities have to invest in education. They don't. They think investment is paying taxes to a centralized government that's 2,000 miles away. That's not investing in education or in education as provincial in Canada right or paying taxes to a centralized institution that gives a more of a rat's ass uh, to building pipelines in the oil industry than it does about educating the youth the future generations that is completely corrupt flawed system if we were to tutor people on an individual basis that would be a nightmare um it doesn't have to be individual but it could be in groups of five or ten 10 max five preferably and it wouldn't be a nightmare and it wouldn't be a nightmare we are all teachers really we are all teachers what if andre you said you're in a medical field what if you were given the opportunity for one day a week for two hours to facilitate teaching if you so desired right we should all be teaching but we're not we've made this category of teacher right saying this is a teacher this is the only one that should be allowed to teach what type of garbage is this right you need this piece of license to teach in a centralized institution controlled by an author authoritarian capitalistic financialized system that puts profits ahead of education right how come we don't have a system available where a centralized location right where the people in the community who may be carpenters electricians plumbers financiers bankers and all these people can say hey i want to teach a course for a four-month period about how to do trading on the stock market and i want to do it because i love it so you enter you know sign up with this location this community program where i guess you would have a board members that approve people teaching certain classes right there is no centralized curriculum that is instilled on the community from a location that has zero interest in that community right that just wants to possibly induction in indoctrinate a whole society right so just imagine this this community this town this city this province 
that has central locations, buildings, where people in the workforce in the community can set up their own programs to teach anyone that wants to learn. Uh, would they be doing it for money? Maybe. They could charge whatever they want, right? Really, some people might do it for free, right? So some people might decide to hold two classes teaching the same thing. One of them is, you know, sign up for $500 for a four-month program, and the other one, free for people who can't afford it, right? Your choice. Pay as you go. Whatever it is, we could do so much more than what we have. It, 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 it's just lack of imagination of our centralized institutions and our communities that we don't have things like this set up or barely things like this set up. Why aren't we doing this? Right? And those slowly, what you'll find out is a lot of members of your community, of your society, will really be driven to do this more and more. And then slowly, what you'll find out is a you know, small segment of that community that sign up to teach courses, they're actually building curriculums centered around what they want to teach right so someone that wants to be an, an electrician can sign up for a program and an electrician that is working in the community for construction sites or whatever it might be right all of a sudden they reduce the amount of work that they do they go on site to wire a complex and half their work will be teaching people that want to learn right apprentice right martin thank you very much for the sub right why not there's so many ways we could do the, these things right i'm going to scroll down again chicho would never be uh, earth's president too much centralized power too much strength and i would have no desire <laughs> i'd be a dictator martin oh god i have betrayed my chicho what did you do martin <laughs> There's an alternative universe where Chicho is Earth president and the world is what we what we all want to no, it wouldn't be, trust me, it wouldn't be. Not not everyone. Maybe us Chichonians would appreciate it. I'm pretty sure some people would not. We'd get massive resistance. <laughs> I think I need more badges. To honor honor means everything to me. It's, we should make more badges. Ah, Caseman gifted us up tomorrow. Nice, nice. Thanks, Caseman. If anyone's interested in learning more of this stuff, there's an author I really like, Kolfi Khan. Really lay a good foundation. Awesome, I'll always be making. And for me, Krishna Morty. Read the book Krishna Morty and uh, Krishna Morty's Education on the Significance of Life. And the other person that I've read his work and I've watched his interviews highly recommended is john taylor gatto okay so read the book krishnamurti edu um, krishnamurti's education and the significance of life highly recommended every parent every teacher every human being in our society should read that right and john taylor gatto fantastic work within the system and has a lot of critique of the system doesn't youtube in a way provide that all you need is time computers and access to internet uh no it used to mad mad king but youtube is now censoring independent educators or well it is sort of censoring because it kicked in a platform they kicked in ai where it for education it was promoting more established centralized channels right so for example me that was one of the first people creating math educational videos on youtube because i am independent a lot of the time my math content is not being recommended anymore right because in the last two years youtube kicked in their algorithms to only pr promote like khan academy and some of the bigger boys right so just imagine if you want to learn if youtube is 
mainly promoting all of those big Wall Street backed, some of them Wall Street, yeah, some of them are independent. No, don't get me wrong, I'm not trash talking them, right? But it's only limiting the search recommendations to all the big channels, then the independent creators don't get the audience that they require to be able to teach, right? So YouTube, no, I, I disagree. YouTube is highly filtered and censored now, right? So if you're independent, you're being knocked down. Like, trust me, the views on my videos, math videos that are coming out, they're, my views were higher when I had 10,000 subscribers while I have 30,000 subscribers now, right? So the videos I was putting out in math, my my views are down to the level where I had 10,000 or less subscribers, right? YouTube, Google is a very, 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 they do very, very bad, bad, bad things, right? To independent creators. They bought and paid for a thousand times over. They censor information. That is one of the reasons I have been uh, decentralizing. That's one reason I'm live streaming on Twitch. That's one reason I'm uploading my stuff to BitChute right there you go see martin case man says <laughs> spider-man <laughs> no thank you case man i've read gato it's good too yeah really like gato it's effectively censoring yeah 100 percent censoring i said this in in the discord google bought uh google bought youtube so it could feed our uh feed our lives uh that it's AI, so be weird. Yeah, one hundred percent. And it's up to us to decentralize from that, right? Like the one thing I found unfortunate is I I haven't had a huge influx of people from YouTube coming onto BitChute. The growth on BitChute is not as fast as I would like, which is unfortunate. Which shows people on YouTube still. Uh, and tr I like YouTube. I use YouTube, right? But I know what YouTube is doing. Okay, so I'm gonna work on build, building the BitChute audience more. And here's our BitChute and YouTube pages. Let me bring this up. Doop. There you go, BitChute channel. You wanna follow the work? Even though I don't get paid on BitChute, I recommend you watch my videos on BitChute. Because YouTube, what YouTube pays, like I'm, what I'm making off the videos now, is on the same level as what I was making eight years ago on YouTube, right? So not only are they censoring, you're not making the videos, they've reduced the payments they make to independent creators. So they're, they're controlling there as well, right? As far as I'm concerned, Google can go to hell. Okay. Well, this concerns me that even the online information is controlled. Oh, for sure. BDS 20, huge, huge, huge. Da, da, da. The subject does bring to our attention the emergency to optimize these processes within society. The ignorance of so many regarding the current health situation scares me. And hopefully that will open our eyes to that. Um, Andre, I think it's slowly doing it, right? People are basically aware that the system has completely collapsed and is and is rigged right what are we going to do about it andre bringing up a good point for me i'd like to add to your required curriculum chicho something about about being able to tell bullshit from really uh reality online okay case man we'll work on it well mathematics is key right mathematics is the best bs detector you could you, you could ever have it's amazing in terms of visualization graphs that people share and stuff and just logic so mathematics is key to that it's the best bs detector there is but we'll keep it in mind and maybe start creating content towards that right youtube will always be sending recommended videos that the government want me to see well, according to some of my friends, Martin, yeah. My sister-in-law is an ex-English high school teacher, and she's telling me she 100% agrees with you, Chicho. Ah, Spider-Man, nice, nice. English high school teacher. Ex-English high school teacher, yeah. 
Like I feel for people who went in, who've gone into centralized education in the hopes, in the dreams and the desires to have to teach, right? I I consider myself lucky, right? And by the way, just to let you know, I got into doing this by accident. I got into a car accident that took me out of the geophysics game, right? Because it was a severe car accident and to be able to do geophysics in the field you have to be 100 percent tip top right and it knocked me out so i had to get back on my feet do my exercises and maintain and all that jazz so i started teaching and it just snowballed okay and i needed to make money i needed to generate money right google has certain videos that it would rather you be watching be be aware be aware never go to youtube's front page to get video recommendations that's just that's like sitting in a that's, that's just horrendous understanding a threat is the first step to avoiding it yeah i'll put a video in the censorship discord that was really informative uh elucidating okay cool always be making i will watch it straight after stream nice 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 oh we're almost two hours gang we're almost two hours great discussion by the way gang great discussion wow i had no I, idea glad you came out of the accident without being severely hurt ah I was severely hurt <laughs> it took a lot of energy to come back man this was uh, uh, 2000. I really appreciate doing this topic. Very important, very important to always be making it. Thank you very much for requesting it, right? We've done a little bit uh, in the past, but we hadn't done for done one for a while, right? I said a lot that I, that I wanted to say in the previous streams and the previous videos I put out, but now that we're kicking things into high gear and there's more interaction through the live stream and stuff always amazing to bring up the discussion right as that star wars general once said it's a trap it's a trap are there any sites that one could even recommend to kids i have some relatives who mostly use youtube tiktok instagram all of that is terrible but my main sites are all too mature for them yeah way way to way to dust like for example for me I have a website where I have a lot of my math content that is linked up to a YouTube channel that I have, which is only the language of mathematics and the ma uh, math and real life videos, right? I don't have my ASMR math stuff. It was just, I, I couldn't maintain uh, that site as well as do teacher. I don't, you know, I still have to generate money to pay the rent and stuff like this, right? But like, I would say, you can use youtube right but you could direct them towards websites that just have youtube embedded videos right which is the one i have is math and real life.com but again it's on it's linking up to youtube education is the stuff chicho gets passionate about always good content thanks case man i love it very important as far as i'm concerned oh so sorry i didn't mean to sound like you weren't hurt i'm glad you got through it you chose. that's great and uh, spider-man is one of the best things that's ever happened in my life crazy thing to say eh? but it's one of the best things that's happened in my life because it's brought me here right would i be here without that i doubt it i doubt it very much so it, it's it's not good or bad it's just what it was and where i am i'm happy i'm ecstatic of who i am where i am my mindset and what i have in life right would i have all of this it's not all roses roses and whatever it is right you know there's stuff still stuff i'm working towards but would i be here if it wasn't for that no so it's one of the best things that ever happened in my life right it's like well i won't go down that road me too if you get me started i can go go forever on education yeah the main problem is it doesn't sound like people are interested in discussing uh, it's crazy what path life takes us on it's crazy all right you take hits hard hits sometimes you just got to lift yourself back up again and keep on going right it's a ride just a ride 
right stay on it for as long as you can because you don't know if you're gonna come back on it again right let's call the stream gang it's just a ride it's just a ride good old Bill Hicks right let's call the stream gang thank you for being here if you're interested in what we're doing we're on patreon okay it's a great way to support this project it's a great way to follow the work that we're producing okay we're live streaming this on twitch twitch is a great way to support this project great way to follow these things live if you want to take participate in the discussion please note i don't think there was a notification on discord to start the stream yeah sometimes it doesn't go out right unfortunate that's why i announced it on twitter gabs mind vk and elo okay and we're on youtube and bit shoot okay and in times of pandemics flatten the curve i'm going through that speedy gonzalez stuff thanks spider-man uh, on a negative point this stream is going to keep me up all day thinking about whoever is out there who wants to steal my freedom <laughs> martin also also true i didn't see that start notification so it wasn't sent out okay that's unfortunate that's unfortunate uh twitch should send them out too should they not i know youtube is not sending out notifications for a lot of the videos and if you're watching this on youtube and bit turn on notifications and from what i understand youtube has been unsubscribing people from channels so if you are watching this and if you like this content make sure you're still subscribed on youtube and bit is okay i'm pretty sure anyway subscribe and bit you turn on notifications turn on notifications on twitch uh follow on patreon i announced the uh, uh, streams are scheduled on patreon okay aside from that uh mods thank you for being here always be making welcome to the gang uh thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for supporting this work however way you decide to support this work including uh through joining on twit on uh, youtube give chicho a couple of bucks on patreon what you thanks case man i got my own promoter here great stream i mostly just listen but really good topic to focus on as it is the basis of everything yeah coolio it's the foundation right thanks for the stream way to dust my pleasure have a good night and look forward to easter look forward to an amazing weekend okay and we'll be here tomorrow 10 a.m and we're doing linked up with education as well uh mental health okay was a request put in with uh from dante and i believe i hope he's here tomorrow because i'm mainly going to be moderating the the discussion there tomorrow and hopefully there'll be uh some communication i'll stay up with the chat and i'll give you my comments if uh if there's any questions coming my way i also second uh that earlier message for a pre-recorded ftc ftc speech what's an ftc speech ftc 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 i don't know what an ftc speech is uh okay gang have a fantastic fantastic evening morning and weekend flatten the curve flatten the curve flatten the curve yeah ftc right on martin you and your acronyms like these things throw me off big time have an amazing night guys thanks for the amazing stream thanks for the amazing conversation gang and oops flatten the curve gang take care of your healthcare providers healthcare system make sure they're not overwhelmed because you may need them to save your ass okay bye everyone